long before I realised I was gay. Um, I knew I was different. Uh, I wasn't into the same uh, sports or music or activities that most of my classmates were, were into. Uh, you know, they were buying, you know, whatever was in the, the top 10 at the time, I was buying classical music albums. But so, yeah, I was just different. It happened in the, the sort of first couple of years, I, I guess, of uh, secondary school when I was 12, 13, thereabouts. And, you know, I was starting to, I was going through puberty and starting to have the, the adult awakenings and feelings that, that children of that age start to go through. And then I just knew I was different. Um, and, you know, a few people, a very small number, um, started to, you know, taunt me and say, oh, poof, gay, uh, things like that. I was quite introspective anyway, but that just made me even more uh, introspective and become more scared about, oh, am I gay? Uh, what does that mean? And, you know, growing up in the west of Scotland in the mid-1980s, you know, being gay wasn't the done thing. Um, there were no, well, at least no, no, not visible to me, there were no um, role models or, or people I could identify with. I should say, you know, the bullying I had wasn't uh, anywhere like the, the intensity of bullying that, that some students go through. But it was a difficult time and it was fairly short-lived, thankfully, but it was enough to have quite a profound effect on me. Uh, and even today, I guess, I'm still dealing with some of the consequences of it. I think the message to myself, um, and it's, it's, easier, it's easy to say this in retrospect, and times are much different now, but it would have been to, to speak to someone that you could trust. Now, for different people, that would be different, different types of people. It might be your parents, it might be a sibling, it might be a friend, it might be a teacher at school any one of a number of people, but just share what you're going through with them, because that's the first step. Um, and you'll often find it's easier than you think it will be. One of my classmates was one of the jocks of the school. Now, he, he wasn't involved in calling me names or anything, but he said to me as we were leaving the school for the last time, he said, well done on keeping your individuality in this, in, in this school. And that, that made me really that was quite a profound moment. Uh, it made me quite proud that, yes, I was different and some people actually you know, applauded that. I think in a, in a very modest way, I don't, I don't regard myself as a, as a huge public figure, but I do have a public role. And that is to be open um, and to, if I can be a role model uh, for other uh, young people who might be struggling with the same uh, issues and difficulties that I did um, and maybe help show them along with all the other uh, public figures who are out uh, to show them that it's okay you know you can have the career you want uh, you know, it's not being gay isn't uh, you know doesn't prohibit you from having a public life children who are bullied cannot fulfill their full potential without help um, and I don't want to see any young life uh, diminished or uh, threatened in some way because of what others are doing to them. People should be able to express themselves for who they are. They should be able to fulfill their potential. Uh, so I absolutely applaud this initiative to make people aware that bullying still goes on. And there'll be, I know there'll be young people worrying about going back to school uh, in the next few weeks uh, who'll be dreading it because someone might pick on them, uh, attack them either verbally or physically or online just because they're a little bit different from what is perceived to be the normal. Um, and I hope this program uh, gives them some hope uh, that there is a way through it and a good life beyond it. 
In the UK, 10 million children are going back to school. Over half of them will be affected by bullying. You can change that by helping us train an anti-bullying ambassador in every school. Go to www.antibullyingpro.com forward slash back to school to find out how. Share your back to school picture and share your back to school advice using the hashtag back to school. This campaign is run by the Diana Award Charity.